Despite what was a bad loss at home last night for the Rockets, James Harden still recorded 37 points. He's the fourth player in history with 600 points, 100 rebounds, and 100 assists in a calendar month. The other three are all legends, Jerry West, Oscar Robertson, and Elgin Baylor, and they all did it before I was born. This all happened in the early 60s. Harden's numbers are ridiculous. He scored 30 points in 24 consecutive games. Only Wilt Chamberlain has a longer streak. The 43.6 in January, most by anyone in a calendar month since Wilt. 161 of the field goals, unassisted, most by any player in a month in the last 20 years, and 53 step-back threes, according to Second Spectrum, more than any other player has made all season. He did that in the month of January. So, Richard, <laughs> we've run out of ways to describe what he is doing, but I'd like you to pick up on something you touched on briefly earlier. What is hardenitis? Hardenitis is when a player is so dominant that no defense has been created to stop it. Uh, there, there, there's nothing that you can do to really guard him. Right? Just a, 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 as, a t as a team, the only thing that you can really do is just kind of hope and pray he's having an off night because other guys are still scoring. His assist numbers are down, but they're still he's still right there at, at, set, at five or six assists a game. So he's still getting other people involved. A lot of this has been because of Chris Paul being out. But this is the, the biggest issue here is like, look, he's on pace to another MVP, right? So he's on pace to a back-to-back -back MVP. Last two guys that do that, you had Steve Nash and you had Steph Curry. The issue is you only had, of all those six MVPs, you only had two finals. And you only had one championship. So not many – it like, it doesn't really translate. Great seasons like this and MVPs and back-to-backs, they don't translate the championship. So he's going to need help. So the last time that this sort of itis happened was with Shaq? Or is oh, there yeah. somebody yeah, else? Yeah, well, so, so they used to always joke, right? Like Shaq, whenever Shaq would come to town, you would start to see, like, big men start to kind of limp around. <laughs> My back's a little tweaked out. You would just always see, like, Shaq just show up and just put people – because you just didn't want to deal with that headache. You didn't want to get dunked on. And this is before the YouTube era – this is before right. everyone was ooing on all day. But yeah, they called it Shaq Itis. So if guys started doing it a few games in advance, like, you know, there's a few Nets names that I'll stay out of it, but they would tell did me, you, like, oh, he's got a little Shaq Itis. Did you ever get Itis for anybody? I never, I can honestly say I never got itis. I was one of those people that was too dumb to realize how badly my head was getting beating in on most nights. <laughs> but if James Harden was coming to town right now and it was your job to guard him and Harden you felt a little bit of case of the sniffles? <laughs> well, this is the thing. You don't want to go out there against James Harden unless you're 100%, right? 99%, you should probably just take that night off. <laughs> like, he's a 100% guy. You need 100% of him.